You got the plug in? Yeah. <laughs> Sounded questionable. Oh boy. Oh, that does not look good. Dude, I don't know if we're gonna get off the trailer here. Hey, but one thing you can do, I send it. I think I can come further in. Dude, just back it in till you smell poop or hear glass. You tell me when. Oh, dude, that is so low. I think we're off. I've never backed my truck this far down a boat ramp in my entire life. No, it didn't. Yeah! Yes, Woo! What a man! My goodness. It looks like those World's Strongest Man competitions uh, where he's like pulling the plane to him or. Get behind the line. <laughs> We're going camping. I got my boy Swalls. There's a lot of things in a boat that I've been wanting to do that we haven't done. Mm -hmm. I've cooked for gravy. We caught a fish in here. Okay. We did a little bit of tubing. Oh, gravy. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, Louis. Louis, Sam. Louis. But I want to see the full capabilities of the lifeboat. So what are you thinking? So I'm thinking I've baited up a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, big fella. <laughs> I'm not looking for any bait. <laughs> I have put out things to attract catfish. And we also have pretty much every green light that was in Academy Sports. There's like $400 in lemons. You bought them out? I bought them out. Mm. And we're going to a bridge to camp underneath it. Mm -hmm. So which we're going to draw some bait in there? Yes, sir. Pinch point. We have a channel. We're going to be right in it. So as fish are moving in and out of the channel, they got to come through us. Before we get to catfishing, I have something prepared for you, buddy. <laughs> Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, girl. We're going to see if me and Claus could fit in these old wetsuits and then if the lifeboat has the capacity to pull somebody on a weight board or some skis. Or a knee board. Or a knee board. We're going to see how water sporty you can make an enclosed lifeboat. You ready for the best night on this thing? Mm. Where's your whistle? Think so? <laughs> I'm about to attempt to water ski. I've never done it before in my life. So I know it's gonna go bad. It's not a probably, it's not a maybe. Confidence is key. Also, this one's a, uh, a slalom. So if you get up and you're feeling like, hey, I want to ditch one and just throw my other foot in this back up, go ahead. Okay, yeah, if I do that, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. I'll definitely kick a ski off while yeah. I'm getting <laughs> yeah. some mad We'll air. go back and get it. All so right. don't worry about that. All right, yeah. <laughs> How's that feel? Freezing. <laughs> Absolutely freezing. Is a wetsuit help at all? No. <laughs> I'm about to pee in here. <laughs> yeah, you should. To heat it up. It helps. Oh. Yes. All right. We warmed up the motor a little bit earlier before we dipped her in. I'm thinking she's going to start every single time. Yup. One to ten on Smalls getting up on skis behind the lifeboat for the first time in his entire life. One. I'm just gonna try to hold on and not fall off. Three, two, one. Let's go, baby. He's going up. His shoulders are out of the water. Ooh, so cold. 
the world can be a really cold place, which is why today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. If you've never heard of them, it's an online platform where you can get therapy no matter where you're located online the way it works the first time you log on to it whether you download the app or you go to their website you take a questionnaire you fill it out answer all the personal details then it's going to match you with a therapist that they think can fit your needs which is pretty convenient because they have over 30,000 different licensed therapists in their network and if you end up getting matched with a therapist that you don't completely mesh with it's one of these bow, bow, you can trade them for a therapist that you ba bam No. You can get a different therapist completely free of charge and there's no hits to the insurance. You can video chat your therapist or just hit them with a phone call or a text. Just schedule a session out and do whatever fits you best. So if you think BetterHelp would be a good fit for you, you can click on the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com slash AO. Get 10% off your first month. Thanks, BetterHelp. Now back to the lifeboat. Bob, I'm impressed. Dude, I honestly feel like I could have done it. I just don't know that the boat has enough power. I can feel that it doesn't. When I see that we're on the same line, I'm going to give her all she's got. Like, I might blow the motor. Really? I want to see you up. You ready? Ready. A full throttle bro i know it sounds crazy but i honestly think that i might could water ski i know you could water ski i just don't think this boat is gonna let you what do you think trying to move for yeah let's, do it. let's let you look like a greek goddess of wetsuits out there eh <laughs> i like it I'm hoping we at least have enough power behind the lifeboat to kneeboard. If you can't kneeboard behind a boat, is a boat really a boat? Hold on tight, buddy. <laughs> I don't know how water sporty this boat is. <laughs> He's got his own little wake back there and it's awesome. I feel like I'm waterboarding with my good buddy right now. I know he doesn't want to quit. We need to quit. Brother, you fought valiantly. Yeah. I would hold my chin high. How do you feel? I'm rejuvenated. I feel like I can hold my head high and know that not many big people could have uh, failed the way I did. Like this thing could go 10 miles an hour faster, five miles an hour faster. It'd have been, it'd have been, You'd been up. Yeah. I mean, we were on the brink. Hypothesis. We were tied up to there. I raised the tile to the very top of the boat. That's another four foot. So we're eight foot above the water now. So it's gonna pull me up more. Mm-hmm. Still not gonna put us on plane. You don't know that. I don't know. Are you jumping off the top? You dang right. <sighs> Woo! Woo! Yes, sir. Woo! Yeah, wow. It doesn't get better. It is freezing. My confidence of this being successful, three out of 10. There's just not enough power. We're so close, but there's not enough power. If that's all she has, we are down bad. Come on, girl. Oh, He's up. He's yeah. it. Let's yeah. go. Oh, oh. It's so slow. It's so hard. I don't think I have more it is a starting point better than none i got up you did dude that was highly impressive thank you good sir well, how about that just when i thought that ao wasn't gonna be able to do it just because i couldn't do it he proves me wrong one thing i've learned about ao he'll surprise you surprise you day in and day out when you think that he can't do something he'll say all right all right watch this what a cool boat man yeah it is <laughs> It is getting dark, really, really dark. 
my time up perfect if we make it to the spot. We're at the mouth of the creek right now. About 10, 20 more minutes. We'll be tying up where we baited up the hole. Beautiful. Now, fishing this bridge is special for two reasons. Number one, she's been baited. Mm, let's tell them in that water, baby. Mm -hmm. The second reason that we want to be at this area is because it takes the width of the lake and shrinks it down to a 20-foot pass. So when fish are traveling from up creek, down creek, towards the main channel. Interception! You know what I'm saying? I mean. On top of all that, I have cleaned out Academy Sports 800 lumens per one of these bad boys. We have eight of them, which is a lot. And also, <laughs> so, you know, the real bright. Oh, the real bright. How about a little size comparison? Go ahead. There's something to be said for both. Sure. That puts us at 10 different green lights. So it's most people, you only need one or two. The boat is so long though, and there's so many different areas we could throw lines out that I was like, dude, let's make this the brightest Just floating fish light structure. It up. If there's a fish for a mile, they're gonna be like, oh God, what is that? I, I don't know, but I can't look away. Give it an hour or two. I think we're gonna have giants out here. It's about to get bright. Real bright. Real bright. Did your wife buy you that? Yes, she bought me both of these for Christmas. That's cool. I love that girl. She's cool to you, aren't she? She really is. I married my soulmate for sure. That's she the right. bomb. Shout out to you, Stephanie. Thanks for being good to my man. <laughs> That's not Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, she don't know nothing about Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> I am extremely curious to see how bright this thing looks when we have all the lights deployed. Also curious how long these batteries are gonna hold charge when we have this many lights pulling. I do not want to drop her off the top. All right, all right. Come here, girl. I got a good grip. That is our flathead candy. Now, I believe we were looking on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Dude caught a 40 pounder. Yeah. Big it. Big it. And we believe it was this area. A lot of people catch fish and then they go to a different area of the lake, take pictures just so people aren't fishing their holes. Because they're smart. Yeah. Post up right in front of the lower glass bridge. <laughs> Caught a giant! Caught a ball right here! They weren't even at this lake. We're throwing out half of this thing and we're keeping the other half for later. And you know it has to be done. Dude, I feel good about that big brim head. I really do too. I think if we catch a giant, this is it. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Dude, something about throwing a big old bait out there just gets me on edge. I think it's that... <laughs> All right, if anything hits this rod, no game. <laughs> if this rod's bending and we start hearing, zzz, 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 get to it. Oh, dude, that one was a little squirmy. Yeah, you don't want to try the chicken. I do want to try the chicken. Chicken's where it's at, bro. You feel confident? I feel way more confident than chicken and the fish. Really? Really? Let me blow your mind, bro. Let me blow your mind tonight with this strawberry flavored chicken. Strawberry flavored chicken. We've got strawberry flavored jello, and we'll fill up. We're gonna catch a river monster. The first thing you want to do, guys, is you want to take your chicken patty, you want to slap it. <laughs> it comes in a nice brown sack. If we're not careful, we're gonna catch a river monster. Strawberry chicken. This one I don't think we need to throw for because it feels like it could come off the hook. Wow. Three rods, 
or out. About 18 more to go. Find another runner, I can help you. Hey man, uh, do you guys deliver to the lake? We're out here fishing. I was just curious if we could get a pizza. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Hey yo, no way. get the net. Yeah, get the net. All right, I gotta grab a net, man. I'll uh, I got you on speaker. I'll just pull him up. Oh, dude, nice. Yes. All right, order that pizza. I'm hungry. Okay. Well, heck yeah. Huh? <laughs> Got a meat lovers and a cat? That's what I'm saying. Talk to me. Dude, that's a weird looking catfish. That's what I was just telling the camera. It doesn't look like it's a channel cat or a blue cat. It's very stocky. It's stocky for sure. Dude, I don't know. It's got a fat head it's on it. It's got a fat head. <laughs> wow. I've never caught an otter shaped catfish in my life. That is awesome. What a fat head. <laughs> Let's get that thing back in the water. That is just a bobblehead of a cat. I, when I saw it coming in, I'm thinking, <laughs> dang, go, what the, what the heck? Heck? I mean, I would say congrats, but I don't think I'd mean it. Yeah, look like a football and a baseball bat had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird, man. Yeah. Uh, quick rod check. Doing this every 30 minutes. Nothing on that one. <coughs> Come on, be there, baby. Not the thing. Nope. Oh, it's been slow. And it's like these fish, they nibble. They'll make your eye go, boop, but they don't commit. So Smalls has the idea to rig up some bass combos. Bass combos. I ain't got no line. Yeah, I typically throw a head in at about 215. Caught two bigs, not that many. Oh, we got one. No way. Still there? Oh, uh, something's happened. Dang, dude, I got a hand line it. Oh, you're on. Come on, baby. I got a hand line it. Oh, I need some help. All right. Oh. You see him? What do we got? Oh, I think it's bass. bass. Here, grab the line. All right, all right, all right. I'm stretched. Come to me. Yeah, baby. A striper. A striper? On the minnow? Yeah. Two. Nothing right home about. No. But I wouldn't even call. I wouldn't either. Not even a text. Not a hey, how are you or nothing. Yeah, just let them stay at home. But hey, fish number two. All right, we have four rods that are still in the water right now. Fresh bait, strawberry chicken, brim. And a minnow. And a minnow. We're gonna hop into the memory foam coffin. I like to call it. Is it, it memory foam? Mmm. Oh, wow. Hey, how'd you do good? Oh. Yeah. Memory foam, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Me and you shared a full size mattress is awesome. The green lights are still on, so we're attracting bait. We got fresh hooks, fresh line. We're going to bed. Dude, you baited your hook like a pro earlier. <laughs> oh no. How you turn this thing off? You know what that means, don't you? To go to bed at three in the morning, I will say. Slept pretty dang good. Has to be the best upgrade I made. Bro, I thought this bed was nice. <laughs> we have four rods that have been sitting out for seven hours. We're gonna see if we have any fish. There's not a chance we don't have a fish on. Morning. How's it going? Going good. Not mine. My boat. How do you see something like that up there? Facebook, man. A very mediocre one right now. We got a bed. We got a hook up for water. Just a big old diesel, diesel inboard. Yeah, better than you would think. I don't think there's any popping a circle hook off. Yeah, hey, I don't think so either. Once she's sunk, she's in there. She's sunk. That one snapped clean. Probably a giant. 
For real, though. God, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Smalls? It didn't go good. No. I appreciate you being here. Mm -hmm. I know you got a family at home. I do. But I'm not quitting here. You're going to push on. You'll be missed. I'm going to miss you, too. Got a pretty cool camo suit on right now. It is 31 degrees out, which means the water temp has dropped probably another 10 degrees, meaning that catfish are not loving it right now. Knowing that the fish aren't moving locations, they're not chasing bait, and they're locked down, we've done a little something. Took a little sugar mama last night to her favorite place to go on a date, Home Depot. We made these homemade jugs. We got 15 foot of 45 pound monofilament circle hook. We also have some braid that goes down to 50 feet deep. The goal is just to stretch these things from shallow to deep water and run main lake points. Just cover as much water as possible. Bulletproof plan, they say. We've got a pretty big hook. Not really looking for those one or two pounders. You can catch a one pounder on this, but I want that old chubby girl. Ah, shrimp dude just stink, man. Cockroaches of the sea, they call them. We'll just kind of rub some of that on there. Wow. Woo! About to have to come out to one feet. Last one. Got chicken livers, jumbo, colossal raw shrimp. Got them in every depth that we could possibly get our jugs to, so I feel pretty confident with what we've done. We've waited a few hours. Time to go check these jugs. What? We got maybe two hours of daylight and we got two hours of water to cover, so I probably need to put our mouths where our jugs are, see if we got any fish. I feel like all of these don't have fish. Curse. Flippity flip flap. That's unfortunate. Get in there. That's a bear hook. Yep. Clean up. No. Gosh, fart. 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 It is day four. We are back in the lifeboat. I'm riding solo. I've come back to where we broke off six out of six of the jugs that we put out on one of these points. We've been sitting about an hour and I believe we have a fish. See a noodle standing up tall. So I'm gonna pull up the poles, rip over there. Hopefully there's a catfish waiting on us. For those of you who are a little nervous about me doing this completely by myself, I do have my safety team with me today. AKA a 70 uh, year old rope ladder but at least I have a way to get in the boat if I were to fall out. Oh, God. Bless. Yep, something's pulling. Something's pulling. Get out of that prop. I can't tell if it's caught on the boat or if it's just digging down there. Come on. It's caught on the boat. This boat is not built for this. Feel swimming. Oh. Hey, not a big one. This lake is littered with these little catfish. I look over for a second and this guy was pulling. Had that noodle just straight up and down. Good little fish. Would be a good eater. Fish number one of day four. Nothing too crazy, but we're on the board quick. Wanna say we've only been out here about an hour, which I'll take. Got a lot more wind that we're working with, but I feel like a lot of these jugs have already moved from their location, so we might check a couple more. Jeez, that's a fish. God, that's a lot more weight 
than we've had before. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yep. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, baby. Yeah. Look at that tummy, baby. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's crazy. That noodle wasn't moving. It was floating completely flat. Woo. Yep. Good Lord, dude. That, my friends, is not an absolute giant by any means, but a heck of a fish. And look at the tummy on her. That is just such a fat fish. I did do a little preparation for this video. Of course, of course. I do want to get a little bit of a weight. All right, it is reading right at seven and a half. That is what we've been after. It's not the 30 pound river monster that I know are out here, but it's a chunky, chunky catfish. And it's more than just a pound or two. Yes and get this guy back into the water. Thank you so much, good sir. I'm gonna let you go back, bud. Ta -da. Back to the depths. Woo! When I tell you that the 64 personas from Singapore is not meant for single man maneuverability, I mean it with every ounce of my heart, dude. There's like five, seven mile an hour winds and it is just the most difficult boat to move it catches wind like a sailboat and whatever direction you want to be you're not going unless you're full throttle getting this thing on a trailer tough but four days later we've landed a channel cat with a tummy on it not just whiskers which was a pretty good feeling took a lot of jugs took a lot of patience but we made it happen winter time cat fishing off the safe britain and neo brit I dropped out of college for this. I appreciate you. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Love you guys so much. See you on the next one. Love playing with raw chicken. Brings me back to my childhood. You I got thought, a lot of baby brim in here, dude. I you? do, man. That was a heck of a throw with a cast net. Oh, no, 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 I had that, that was hook and line. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, dude, you caught the mess out of it. Dude, it was... Zzzz! <laughs>